take a survey of your body. Notice how great it feels to relax like they're focusing on the sound of my voice. On the count of three and not before, I'd like you to sit in your chair with your eyes closed, feeling fantastic on the count of three. Now on the count of three, when you sit in your chair with your eyes closed, I'd like you to imagine this as if you're now on a tropical beach vacation, out on the beach in your lounge chair, soaking up the sun on a very hot day at the beach. So on the count of three and not before, I'd like you to imagine this as if you're sitting in a chair in your sun lounger, soaking up the sun on a warm, tropical beach, having yourself a great time on a great beach day. Get ready, one. Relax even more, two, and three. Sit up, eyes closed. Imagine you're in your lounge chair and spread out and feel that sun. You've got lush, warm sand between your toes. There's a beautiful blue sky overhead. You hear those seagulls chirping away, and it's time to put on some suntan lotion, people. You're going to be here for a while, and it is hot, hot, hot. Really hot day. There's a lot of hotties on the beach. Take a look around. Got some hotties out here on the beach. Some good looking people out here today. But it is hot, hot, hot. It's 115 hot and sticky humid degrees. You might want to try to cool down. Try to fan yourselves with your hands. Try to fan yourselves. That's the only way you're going to cool down. Oh, that feels better. When you move those hands, the more fast you move those hands, the more you're able to cool down. It is hot, 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 hot. It's like 120 hot, sticky, humid degrees. You know how hot it is? It's like you're sitting in the car on the 4th of July with the windows rolled up, no air conditioning. That is how hot it is. Hot, 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 hot. Get those hands moving. Get those hands moving. Try to fit yourselves. Try to fit yourselves. Oh my gosh, you're like a piece of sizzling bacon out here. You're like a piece of sizzling bacon. Can you hear that sizzling sound? That's you. You're it. You're sizzling. You're hot, hot, hot. Get those hands moving. Get those hands moving. Oh man, cool breeze blowing in. Cool breeze blowing in. Oh, you feel much better. Sit up in your chair. Sit up in your chair. Cool breeze blowing in, everybody. Cool breeze blowing in. Oh yeah. Oh, so much better. The waiters are feeling sorry for you because it got so hot. They say, it's never like this. It never gets this hot. They feel so bad for you. They, you know what they're saying? Free drinks on the house for everybody. Put out your hands. Get your free drinks, everybody. Free drinks on the house. Big old umbrella drinks. There you go. Get your free drinks. And it is right there in your hand. And you can drink it down. Drink it down and throw the cup over your shoulder. Woo! That was good stuff. What was in that drink? That was great. It's a party now. It's a party now. Finish it up and throw the cup over your shoulder. Oh, man. You know, I don't know what was in that drink, but you're starting to feel it. It was non-alcoholic, but this resort has this special giggle water. It's like laughing gas. It makes you want to laugh out loud. You're really starting to feel it. It's really starting to make you want to laugh now. You can't stop. You can't stop. It's getting funnier. Oh my gosh, it's really hitting you hard now. I know. I know. I know. The more you laugh, the funnier it gets. It's getting funnier now. You can't stop. It's getting crazy funny. Oh, I know, buddy. I know. This is great. Oh my gosh. I know, buddy. This is cool. Oh man. This is good. You've never laughed this hard. It's getting funnier. It's just getting funnier. And it's getting funny. This is great. This is fantastic. Oh man, this is great! It's getting funnier! Oh man, get this, get this on the can of three, it's gonna get ten times funnier! One, two, three! No! Oh no! That is great! Can you believe it? This is great! This is fantastic! This is fantastic! Sit up in your chair! Sit up in your chair! Oh man, get your composure! Take a deep breath in, one, two, three, sleep! All the way in, all the way down, to the shoulder of the person next to you, sleep! Deeper and deeper, loose, limp, and relaxed. And the crowd goes wild, let him hear it, people! <laughs> See, we got at least one extra volunteer out there. That's good. We got to move. Great. There's two. One, two. Any else? I got. All right. Cool. Good. 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 We'll get to them in a moment. Right now, we're bringing the show out to you in 3D. So lay well, people. You are still out at the beach. Your friends were supposed to pick you up. You've just got your light summer clothes. 
And at this particular result, when night falls, like night has fallen, it gets really, really cold at night. The temperature's already dropped down to 20 freezing cold degrees. And boy, do you have goosebumps. Get those hands moving, try to warm up your body, it's freezing. And now there's an Arctic wind blowing in. Arctic winds are blowing in. Oh my gosh, you're from Florida. You've never been this cold before. It's like you're sitting inside of a freezer in a restaurant. It's freezing cold, try to warm up. Get your body heat going. Hug your neighbors, hug your neighbors. Get some body heat going, it's freezing out here. Hug your neighbors, you don't care who's next to you. You gotta get some body heat going. Get some body heat going, people. It's freezing cold, it's freezing cold. Oh my gosh, so cold, so cold, freezing cold. Get some body heat going, get that body heat going. Oh man, you just realized the person next to you has really bad body odor. Uh, that person next to you does not agree with something they had for breakfast this morning. Oh man, that is just nauseous. I wonder what happened with that person next to you. Somebody's not feeling too well. I hope they get that worked out, because that's just not right. That person next to you, really... Oh, no! Where did that come from? Point to the person who did it. Point to the person who did it. Oh, man. That is just noxious. Oh, my gosh. I hope they get that worked out again. I hope they get that worked out. That is just too much. That is just too much. What? Oh, man. Too much. Oh, no. That's ridiculous. Oh, sit up in here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Take another whiff of that person next to you. That person next to you smells amazing. That person next to you smells amazing. I think they must be wearing that new cologne, Midnight in Miami, because that person next to you smells fantastic. Nothing's happening here, nothing's happening. Oh, more good news, sit up in your chair. The waiters are bringing by free ice cream cones for everybody. Free ice cream cones. Put out your hands, get your free ice cream. This is homemade, your favorite flavor. Guaranteed, this will be the best ice cream that you have ever had. Oh, he wants two right there. All right, there you go. It's on the house. Get to work on that ice cream. You've got it in your hand, now get to work on it. It is delicious. That is fantastic ice cream. Oh my gosh. The problem is, the heat lamps they put out, it's dripping all over your nice outfit, and now it's on your pants, and now it's on your feet. Oh man, there's ice cream everywhere. Ice cream everywhere. Really good ice cream, but man, it is all over the place. All over the place. Oh man. Oh man. That is just too much. Everybody take a deep breath in, deep breath in. Sleep all the way and all the way down, stuck to your chair, shoulder the person next to you, deep down and relaxed. Here's where it's going to start to get a little bit weird, people. We're going to get those people up here on stage that are out there in just a moment. But here's what's going to happen. If your eyes are closed, I'm talking to you. You've had your eyes closed now for a while. And while you have had your eyes closed, we have engineered the biggest senior prank ever. On the count of three, you're going to sit up in your chair with your eyes open. And when you sit up in your chair with your eyes open and look around, you're going to realize that everybody out here in the audience and around you is naked. Completely naked. Meaning no clothes on whatsoever. That's the senior prank and the joke is on you. On three, when you open your eyes and look around, you realize everybody out here in the audience is completely naked. For sure your friends and especially the teachers on three. Get ready. One, two, three. Eyes open. Look out at this audience, people. Look out at this audience. This is wild. What a bunch of show-offs. 
This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at all your friends out here. It's too much. Look at your friends out here, front and center. Jeez, that you guys look gross. Oh my gosh. Can you believe this, buddy? It's the senior prank. Yeah. Man. This person here, close your eyes. And this person here, close your eyes on three. If your eyes close these two people, you'd be wide awake and alert one, two, three. Wide awake and alert those two. Go ahead and make your way back out there in the audience. If I touched you on the forehead just now, this person here, one, two, three. Open your eyes, you're wide awake and alert. Everybody's back to normal. I'm gonna send you back to the audience right there. But everybody else, look at all these naked people out there in the audience. Now I've got a couple people out there. If you're out in the audience and if you're uncomfortable with the naked people out there, come up here on stage. I don't want you to be in that situation. Come on up here. Because that can be very comfortable hanging out with a bunch of nude people. I know, I know. Who needs that? Right? Right? Take a seat up here where you'll be a little bit safer, I hope. I know. Come on up here. You don't need to hang around with all that. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron, what's up with all these people? Oh, gross. They're gross. People are gross. Oh, man. This is the weird thing. You will not move your chairs, you will not get out of your seats. But on the count of three, when I stamp my foot, you realize they're not the ones that are naked. You are. One, two, three. You're the one. On the can of three, everybody's got their clothes back on. One, two, three. Everybody's got their clothes back on. That was weird. That's just not right. Odell, right? Yeah. You wanted to hypnotize. You talked to me beforehand. You really want to be a volunteer. How does it feel? Do you, are you comfortable being up here on stage? Yeah. Do you think the hypnosis is working for you? I think so. What makes you think so? I saw this teacher naked. <laughs> That is unusual. Well, it's good to have you up here, buddy. Thanks for taking the initiative here tonight. Take a deep breath in. Sleep. Sleep. Comfortable? How you feeling? Okay. Is the hypnosis working for you? Yeah. Yeah. I just saw my friends naked. You saw your friends naked. Sleep. What's your name? Marina. Your friends out here are pretty wild. They're gross. <laughs> yeah, I'm disturbed. Thanks for calling. You having fun? Sleep. <laughs> Would that work for you? Probably. Oh. What's your name, buddy? Sharif. Sharif, thanks for volunteering. Sleep. Keep your hands to yourself, Sharif. <laughs> Sleep. How are you feeling? Are you excited to volunteer? Is it working for you? Yes. Did you get hypnotized? Mm. How do you know if you're hypnotized? <laughs> Close your eyes for a second. Open your eyes. Thanks for volunteering. Are you having fun? All right. Sleep. Did you see that? That was awesome! Was that awesome? Did you want to volunteer today? Yes. Were you trying out there in the honest game and huh? Yes. And is it working? I think so. You think the hypnosis is working for you? Yeah. What makes you think so? I feel weird. I feel weird. In a good way, right? Sleep. <laughs> Making friends there, buddy. What's your name? I'm on the Waldo, close your eyes for a second. Open your eyes. Sleep, Waldo. <laughs> Thanks for volunteering. Sleep. Sleep. Close your eyes here, buddy. On the count of three, you're going to be wide awake and alert for sitting back in the audience. One, two, three. Thank you for volunteering there, buddy. Give him a round of applause for coming on up here today. We're sending you back to the audience.
Yes. <laughs> he can do it. Move on over one. Come on over here. What's your name? Joe. Are you having fun? No. Are you hypnotized? No. Your friends, do you think they're hypnotized? How are you feeling? Weird. Kind of weird? Sleep. Sweet! All the way in, all the way down, loose, slip and relaxed, and the crowd goes wild! <laughs> For the ladies only, ladies only upon awakening, ladies only upon awakening, when you sit up in your chair, ladies, you're gonna realize that the shoe on the person next to you is ringing like a telephone anytime you hear me and only me mention my website, which is hypnosisevents.com. That's right, ladies only upon awakening. Anytime you hear me and only me mention my website, hypnosisevents.com, you realize that the shoe on one of the guys next to you is ringing like this telephone. You know that call is for you. You'll take their shoe off so you can take the call. The person calling you on that guy's shoe phone is a celebrity calling you. And when I say celebrity, I mean somebody who you think is really hot. So ladies only upon awakening, anytime you hear me mention my website, which is hypnosisevents.com, you realize one of the shoes on the guy's foot up here on stage is ringing like a cell phone. You know that shoe, that phone, that phone call is for you. You'll take that shoe, you'll wrestle it off his foot so you can take that call. The person calling you on that guy's shoe phone is a celebrity, somebody who you think is really hot. It's not a prank call, it's not a trick. This celebrity is calling you on that shoe phone because they think you're actually pretty cute. That's why they got your number. Nod your head to show me you understand that, ladies. And guys only, guys only upon awakening, guys only upon awakening, if any woman wants to take your shoe off your foot, you will let them do that. You will not fight them on this because they have an important call that they need to receive and it's probably on that shoe phone on your foot. However, guys only upon awakening, anytime you hear me and only me say the word buzzer, you're gonna realize it's as if there's an electric buzzer attached to your chair, guys, and boy, it will make you jump right out of your seat. Guys, only upon awakening, you can't hear me and only me see the word buzzer. You feel this electric buzzing in your chair. You cannot jump out of that chair fast enough. However, you be very careful of the ladies and the other people around you. Nod your head to show me you understand that, guys, only. On the count of three, you're all going to sip and share their eyes with a big smile on your face because you're having a really good time up here. And everything that I said that is going to take place for you upon awakening will take place for you upon awakening. Get ready, one. Relax even more to you. And three, eyes open, big smiles, everybody. You're all looking good. It's nice to have you up here today. I hope you're all having fun. Now, by the way, you guys have a big day ahead of you today, but when you do get home, please log on to your computer, check out my website. That's how you connect with me, with YouTube, Facebook, all these things. The website is hypnosisevents.com. Hypnosisevents.com. Ladies, you've got some important calls to receive. Ladies, get those phone calls. Get those phone calls, ladies. Check out my website, hypnosisevents.com. Hypnosisevents.com. Get those phone calls, ladies. See who's on the phone for you. Who's on the phone for you? Find out who it is. Get into that conversation. <laughs> Who's on the phone right here? Nick Jones. Yeah. Nick Jones. Nick Jones. Is that Rocky? Is that Rocky? He's a rapper. A rapper. That's why I don't know who that is. Who's on the phone here? <laughs> it's Brown. Sweet. What does he want? Who's on the phone here? Adam Tatum. Adam Tatum. <laughs> Biggest star in Hollywood right now. Who's on the phone here? Adam Tatum's talking to me. Adam Tatum says, wait, what? <laughs> Two chick conference call with Channing Tatum? Is that is that is that okay with you? I don't know. I don't know. Who's on the phone? Zach Efron. Zach Efron. <laughs> Big star. What does he want? It's pretty hot, okay. Who's on the phone here? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp! <laughs> Who's old enough to be your grandfather? He's amazing though. Amazing for your grandfather, that is fantastic. Who's on the phone here? Hey, Tom. 
Three songs. Nice. Is he singing? Wait. 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 Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Who's that? Tell everybody. He's a really cute boy. <laughs> really cute boy. All right. Who's on the phone? Ryan Gosling. Yes. Ryan Gosling. He hasn't had a movie in a while, has he? Ashton Kutcher. What's, does he have any projects out? He's got a new movie coming out, doesn't he? Yeah, he's waiting for me now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. As long as he's calling you, that's awesome. All right. Did the Channing Tatum girls, did you get this worked out yet? Did you get this worked out? He's two-timing you or something, right? I know. What does he want? He wants, he wants to dance with me. Dance. What kind of dancing are we talking about? What is he asking you about? He wants to marry me. Marry you? Well, I don't know. All right, ladies, I gotta let you two in on something. There's a reason Channing Tatum called both of you here today. He's a personal friend of mine. I don't know if you know, he's from the Tampa area. That's where I'm from. We actually drove over here together, and he's in the audience right now watching the show, calling you from the audience. <laughs> he's here right now. Would you like to meet him? Would you like maybe a Facebook photo or something, right? Do you have anybody with a camera you can take the picture? Somebody with a smartphone? You better tell him to get ready. Who do you need to take that picture? Danielia. Danielia. She's shaking up here, Danielia. She's, she needs you to get ready. Get up here front and center. Get ready to take this picture. Who do you have that can take a picture for Facebook or something like that? Yeah, I mean, nobody's gonna believe you. You met Channing Tatum today, right? I know. Who, do, who can take the picture for you? Ashley. Ashley? Are you getting ready with that camera, Ashley? You getting ready with that camera? Getting ready with that camera? Yeah. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, meet my friend Channing Tatum. Who does that guy look like to you? Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum, right? Would you like to meet him? You're crying. Would you like to take a picture with him? Come on over here. All right. Don't knock him off the stage. Take him from the edge here. All right. Oh. Let's turn him around here. Turn him around. Oh, no, you're crying, right? Okay. Who, who can take a picture with you here? Who can take a picture? I mean, you want somebody to take a picture, right? Yeah. Get up here. Uh, I want to be in it too. It's awesome, right? All right, give him a kiss. He loves that. There we go. All right, thanks, Jerry. Nice. That is awesome. <laughs> Buzz it! It's a problem. You alright? What? Her? Sit down. You can't just be jumping around up here. Guys, jump around and get ants in their pants or something. You guys need to relax a little bit. 
Grab a seat, guys. I got something to show you. I got something to go. Ladies, tell them that you're going to call them later. Tell them you'll call them later, all right? Tell them to call them a little bit later on the phones. Do any of the guys up here have a belt that I can borrow? Who has a belt that I can borrow? All right. Take out your belt. Take out your belt. You got one? Go and take out your belt right there. You got one, buddy? Okay, take out. We'll need four. That'll be good. All right. This is an amazing magic trick. Does anybody here like magic? All right. This is the real stuff. Real stuff. This is the coolest thing I've learned. Okay, come on up here, buddy. Come on up here. Who else wants to help out with this trick? Spread that thing out. Spread this thing out, buddy. Grab a hold of one part of it. You hold on to it. Let's get a couple ladies here. You want to help out with this? Come on over here. Come on over here. We'll have you two ladies get behind it here and hold it from behind. All right, come on over here, buddy. And come on over here. This is cool. And you come over here, right? Hold on to that end. You hold on to that right there. And you hold on to this right here. Okay, very good, very good. Now you hold on to that as well, and I want you to have the people around you to hold on to an end of it here. There you go, you can hold on to the, that part right there. And you can hold on to this here, and you can hold on to the end there. Now if you're holding, you can hold on to the end here, and you can put your hand right there. Now if you've got one of these belts here, raise it up a little bit and focus on your belt, concentrate. This is a mind energy trick here. We're going to focus on this belt. I want you to imagine that you're energizing this belt with the thoughts of your own imagination. As a matter of fact, you can already feel the energy and the molecules moving in this belt. In fact, you can even feel it get warmer. Nod your head if you can feel it actually getting warmer right now. You can feel that energy. You can start to feel this belt starting to pulsate more and more. It's becoming more and more alive and more and more energized. I want you to wrap your mind around this thought that you're bringing this belt to life. If you were to bring this belt to life, what form of an animal would it take? What animal would it take that this animal would be to suddenly burst into life? When I count to three, that animal is going to burst into life right there in your very own hands. What could possibly happen? One, two, three. All right, here we go. Got a few days to on the face. Yes, bro? Oh, sorry. Be careful, ladies. Be They're just belts. They're just belts. They're just belts, right? They're just belts, right? Put them. If you loan me one of your belts, go ahead and put your belts back on, guys. We got a show to do, so get your belts. Go ahead and put them back on, if you would. I know, that was a little weird. That was kind of amazing, right? Was that not cool? Was that not a little bit weird? A little bit weird, right? Kind of amazing. So go ahead and put those on. Put those on if you would. You'll probably want to stand up to put those on here. I don't think you'll be able to do it with you sitting down there. There you go, fine. Whoa. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I think, I think we're gonna get rid of these for now, okay? We'll get these, we'll get these later. We're gonna put them into this snake pit over there, right there, just to be safe. I want you guys to be safe for the rest of this show. If you have your shoes, if you have your shoes off, put your shoes back on, and let's get all these chairs lined up again. Let's get all these chairs lined up again. Oh, that was a little weird, that was a little weird. I'll tell you what though, hold your finger out right here. Hold your finger out. I gave you a very special power. It's called the hypnotic finger. If you touch anybody up here on the forehead, it will actually put them right to sleep. <laughs> you gotta watch what you're doing, right? Just throw him over the other side. That's you, you gotta move him around somewhere. Stuck to your chair, Ashton. Right, that's cool, right? We wanna try that out? I've got 20 people up here that need to be put back to sleep, so you're in charge now. Stuck to your chin.
Nicely done. You had a few people that were resistant there, weren't you? How's it feel to be in charge? Good. Do you have anybody at home that you would like to use that on? Yeah. Who? Mom. Your mom. Got a line? Just zap her, right? Excellent. Okay, I'll let you take that with you if you want it. It's yours to keep. That's right. Yours to keep. Just for practice, would you like to see what happens when you touch your own forehead? And the crowd goes wild! <laughs> Best thing ever. We've got some important producers and directors here in the house. They came out to see what type of person from Miami would volunteer to be in a show like this. They're looking for some new actors and actresses for some movies that they're gonna be filming down here. Starting salary, one million dollars for a new actor in these films. Great role, starring, co-starring with Channing Tatum, of course. And I'm gonna give you some acting assignments. We're gonna do a screen test. We're gonna find out who's got what it takes. I know you've all got what it takes. I'm gonna give you some acting assignments and we're gonna prove it. I'm gonna give you some acting assignments. You give us most dramatic, powerful, emotionally energized acting based on the assignments I give you. You're gonna get this part. You've got mad skills, and you know that you've got what it takes. On three, get ready. One, two, three, eyes open. Look out in the audience. We got some important people here to see you. Get yourself looking good. I know you're already looking good. Everybody's dressed up. So get yourselves looking presentable. Looking all right, everybody. Now close your eyes for a moment. I'm gonna give you some coaching. I'm gonna give you some coaching. I'll suggest something for you. This will help you out. First thing we're going to demonstrate is what it means to be sad. Now I'm going to make this easy for you because your imagination right now is taking you back to the saddest thing you've ever experienced in your life. You're feeling that sadness and now you're going to be able to open your eyes on three to convey it. Feel that sadness. It feels just so bad, but this is what you're going to use to show them what it means. One, two, three. Feel the sadness. It's the worst day of your life, the saddest day of your life. Show them what it means to be sad. It's the worst day ever. Nobody likes you. Your parents don't love you anymore. Nobody wants to be your friend and you're not going to graduate. It is so, so sad. So sad. And close your eyes, sit up straight and forget about it. It's all gone and gone for good. Because in the count